What's happening YouTube? What's going on? So I'm starting off the month with a freaking special challenge. It's going to be really cool because I'm twisting it up some first, right? This is the Sally Up new challenge with new music that I produced. And usually I'm doing push-ups only lately in the mornings, but now it's the evening time. And so what I'm going to do is that I'm going to freaking mix them all up. First, I'm going to do the push-up challenge, which will be you know, a follow-up to my last challenge. I think it was challenge number 21. And so this push-up, the regular challenge, I collapsed at two minutes and 21 seconds. And so that's my record for the regular push-ups, which I'm gonna do now. And that's gonna count as my follow-up. And then after that, I'm gonna go into squat challenge with a 5kg vest on. And I'm gonna see how I go with that. But I usually go back to the push-ups normally because I keep it with push-ups, squats, push-ups, squats. But I'm gonna move into biceps, bring Sally up down like that then after that I'm gonna do uh, deltoids and then after that I'm gonna look for to see what else I could do all go back to the push-ups all go back to the squats but it's gonna be a really fun challenge to start off the month of August with my first workout the really cool thing man was that I was freaking itching to work out I wanted to work out yesterday this thing of like going out to have treats it's, 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 it's at a minimum now. I'm not freaking going out for ice cream and this and big pizzas and all that stuff only to feel all sluggish getting back into it. And so it's freaking wearing off. That old freaking way of living is, I'm saying goodbye to it, but naturally because I want to work out. My body's saying, you know what? This morning I wanted to do push-ups so bad, but then I'm like, rest, dude, rest. Now I'm opposite. I have to force myself to rest because I want to work out. It's pretty freaking cool fitness is awesome and in this sense that my body's freaking it want I had to walk yesterday I said well if I'm not walk if I'm not gonna work out I'm gonna go for a long walk so that's exactly what I did so look at me man from this fat guy who didn't want to work out who was lazy who couldn't walk up a flight of stairs to now seven years plus working out saying no I'm not gonna freaking go out and have ice cream and tomorrow is my birthday and I'm working out before my birthday. I'm gonna work out tomorrow too, man, because I'm not gonna freaking follow the system of, hey, it's your birthday, take the day off, go have some ice cream, relax. No, exercising makes me feel so good. It's better than ice cream, it's better than pizza. And so that's where I'm at, man. And so this is the freaking effects of working out. And so come on, let's get to it. We're gonna baby, push up.
<laughs> yeah! Yeah! <laughs> I think I saw 229 collapse time, baby. Freaking awesome. Talking about progress, baby. <laughs> and so, I'm gonna get ready to do the squats next. I'm gonna put on a 5kg vest and let's get to it. Okay. A little water for us. Okay, you see me? Whoa! See, man? I prefer to work out, man. That's a miracle, man. You're looking at a miracle here, man. To say that I feel like working out better and taking a day off. <laughs> Okay, we're rolling. Come on, baby. Baby. Okay. Oh shit. Oh. Okay. Uh. Uh. 
Not bad, baby. Because <laughs> I haven't did the freaking squat challenge in a long time because I gave priority to the push-ups. And since I do a lot of leg exercises, I kind of like put this to the wayside, so I haven't done this in a long time. I, I have a document, so I take a look how long. Very important for me to take a look. Now, I feel as though I rolled out the squats pretty good compared to my other ones, so it's kind of maybe got an inch stronger, not so bad, not um, so much. But if I remember correctly, I should put the comparison to that too, maybe why not? And so I'll see what I have to take a look back to see if I, you know, hung on better this time doing the squats. I like to know, so I that's why I put up the comparison. But you know, I, I have to now revise, and so I'll comment. And so, okay, so what's next? Okay, I'm feeling really good for the push ups, man. 229 collapse time. I have to go by the collapse time because if I go through the sink of the push-ups, okay, I'm gonna have to look at two areas because there's a collapse where I totally collapse, which means I got no more energy. And then there's the doing the push-ups in sync with David Goggins. And so I don't wanna make it more you know confusing by doing both because if I hold out longer, that means I'm doing push-ups better. So it's all good. Oh, okay.
we all fire. We all fire today, baby. What a great idea. Okay, so I always wanted to do saddling up biceps. Let me tell you, with those freaking, you know, those dumbbells, I took one, one plate out. I did a video about this because with one plate full and one plate empty, it causes my wrist to do this, which means I'm pumping out more and I'm seeing more definition, man. It's freaking just, it makes so much sense that if I'm freaking making the bicep work harder, it's gonna freaking do more. And I should be able to see more definition because I think I'm freaking, freaking beating up extra fibers that are in there because when you're doing it like this, even if you twist with it, it's not like this. Like all the weight is bearing on me, so it's doing this. And so see, see what's happening? And so I got, I got it. And so it's my new way to do freaking uh, dumbbells. Of course, I'm gonna do the other ones too. I'm gonna mix it all up, because why not? This is the channel where it all counts, man. I'm doing mobility, I have mobility exercises set up for this month, which means just mobile stuff, hip work. Not so crazy because it's important for me tomorrow I'll be 59 years old to do freaking hip exercises. Also decline down the stairs, decline, decline because you know these old people man they're freaking falling down the stairs because they're too weak. So I'm gonna make sure that that's not my case. You know? I wanna make sure that I run because I can, I worked up to it. I've been hearing some stuff about you know the dangers of running, but I worked up to it so my knees are strong. Nothing freaking bothers me, man. And when it bothers me, I exercise and it feels better. <laughs> so I'm gonna get ready for the, I'm gonna do delts. I'm gonna, because this is a lot of fun. And then this means that I have four, five, six, I have still three more rounds. I may end the, we'll do push-ups and then see how I feel. So let's see what goes on here. I'm gonna go lightweight, baby. Okay, and so, so 10 seconds, I'm ready. Lightweight, lightweight baby. I'm ready. I love my legs, man. I'm showing my legs, man.
fucking brutal. You got some freaking brutal workouts starting in the month of August. <laughs> so, man, it's that habit that I drink water after everything. I think it's habit. I worked out with these aerobic guys. They didn't drink water at all for a whole 30, 30 minutes, man. So I'm taking a look at this is a habit. And so anyway, very important. When I did the bicep curls, I didn't go all the way down so I could keep the resistance through the whole thing. And so the same thing applied for delts. I can't even do this, it's so freaking cool. And so basically what I did was that I kept my mind on trying to gather the most tension as possible, which means that from here, I held to here like that. And then when I got really tired, I took a little breaks down here so that I could continue. So this is a freaking amazing, like I never thought of taking the Sally Up challenge because it was only push-ups. They, the, they did the squat, but I never thought to do, hey, do it with biceps, do it with delts, and have a session like this where you can have fun. And so you're not just doing chest, chest uh, legs, chest legs, chest squats like that, which is cool. It has its place, but today is freaking wonderful to start off the month of August with a workout on July, uh, August 3rd. I usually start August 5th and I'm itching way too much to work out. This is because I'm so proud, man. My progress is so going up the ladder, even with my push-ups, that it's almost like I am destined, like I have to freaking bring myself back to the zone. This zone of working out is better than any zone I have experienced. And it's not freaking like, I don't think it's overboard, I don't think it was overkill. My workouts are 30 minutes, it's not crazy. I'm not freaking like steroids, I'm not trying to compete. I'm not trying to be better than anybody. There's no uh, measurement. I just, I, of course I measure my strength because it's part of the process of getting stronger, the challenge. But it's not towards measurement and towards a pride to feel, it makes me feel better, but I'm not doing it to, to overcome. Like I'm not doing it to sport. And so it's very, very different. You know, there is a thing of challenge good and challenge bad. There's a good thing of, you know, working out really hard for good or working out really hard for bad. They have their votes, their variables. And so what am I doing? I'm gonna do wide push-ups, a little elevated, only because my tells a shot, so I'm gonna see, let's see.
baby. Talking about freaking working out here, baby. <laughs> so I'm so happy in another sense. I'm very, very, very excited for another sense that I have another way to do these exercises, to do delt tally ups, uh, del uh, bicep tally ups. I also have a wristband. Should I do the wristband or should I do more squats? I'm gonna do, I'm good with my legs. All right, I'm gonna do the freaking uh, bands. So new, it's a new exercise I learned that works, the delts. It's almost like doing a half a pull up, which you bring in the bands down to you and you're using, it's really cool because at first I was using the wrong muscles to do it. I was using my, my triceps so I wasn't doing it right but then I got the hang of that you want to want to work your see I'm learning you want to work this the, the, the lats the lat area to pull down to pull it down and so I'm gonna do that I'm gonna skip on legs only because I got a lot of legs to work this month so it's all good so Maybe I'll do both. Oh, so maybe I'll do both, you know what I mean? Okay, I'm gonna do both. <laughs> so, let's see. If I go up, down, up, down, see what happens working out new ways to do exercises man shit man so
Freaking cool workout, man. What a freaking cool workout, man. The last round I kind of like searched because I thought of that exercise. It takes a lot of. <sighs> a technique is involved because it's for pull up, so you want to use your lats, but the delts, the triceps gets involved. I was trying to get my triceps out of the picture and use only lats. It's, it's a, it, takes, it takes a bit. It takes a bit of getting used to how that works to see if I can get the lats to move to be the the leader of the exercise and also when I was doing the the delts John Meadows was talking about the positioning of the arms so the so the truck for the this traps don't get involved and so with this exercises I felt my traps engaged and so towards like the parts where I started to feel my traps I started to bring my uh, shoulders down and bring my arms a little bit more out and twist twist the wrist so that more delts gets involved I was able to freaking muster up some more energy and to continue to do it that way because my traps are also burning which is good I don't mind working my traps too you know what I mean but I did a good division between the two because I like to blend them and mix them up I don't want to be a stickler for anything man like at the end when I got when I went down and I did the twist it's freaking awesome exercise because the legs are tired and so the legs could the legs could carry out a little bit and so in between I can do another exercise which was freaking frying out the delts which I fried out my delts I did a freaking great job and so I don't want to use the word proud I want to use the word proud but I don't want to use it as proud I want to use it as I'm supposed to be, I'm supposed to exercise. Why? Because the body has 700 muscles or more or less, whatever. And so I, if there's anything that the human body is supposed to do is move. So I'm doing what I'm supposed to do. And so I'm proud in real retrospect between the way I was and the way I am now where I'm freaking itching to exercise, I get, uh, I, feel, I feel off when I don't exercise, which is so good. But I don't want a proud feeling to come over me as though I should be proud in the sense of how we normally use the word proud. I want to use it as, you damn right, you're supposed to be moving your body, man. That with, the, with this many muscles, we're not meant to sit. And I'm supposed to work around all these type of things that, you know, I heard someone talking about don't run because you're putting so much pressure on your knees. And I'm saying, no, you don't run because maybe you haven't understood that you ran as a child all the time. And you ran easily and freely with absolutely no problem and then gave it up. That's what happened. At whatever age you decided to give it up because I see the people running at 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, they're freaking doing all kinds of stuff and they're fine. Of course if you belt anything down to the ground like this, your, your, your shoulders, if you belt them, they're freaking, you know, they're not meant to freaking withstand grinding. You're not supposed to grind any of your muscles, but any of them, knees, shoulders, hips. Uh, ankles, you're not know, supposed to grind them, in, but, but if, you're, if you're, any of your muscles are strong enough because you developed it that way, then there's no reason to say don't run because of some claim or scientists or certain things. And all the studies out there that they're ref trying to refer to with a whole bunch of people that running is a, is a high cause of injury, well, I don't know in retro, like, the guy's overdoing it, running like a freaking madman. He's not, you know, maybe nourishing himself enough. There's a lot of other things to do, like strength training to get your knees stronger, and they may, maybe they're not doing it. And they're really skinny, so I really have to, there's so much to factor in that I can't accept the claim and go, okay, uh, well, let me stop because, you know, I can't do it. I hurt my knee skipping rope, and I said, well, I'm going to do more squats to get it stronger. Now I, I'm fine. <laughs> and now I'm doing the freaking pedaling in motion. You know, still running, we're freaking pounding my legs. And so I'm smart, I have a nice cushion here. 
I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna overstep my freaking my capabilities. And so, I'm proud in the new sense, man, that I'm here on August 3rd, one day before my birthday. Gonna be 59 years old, kicking it with myself. I'm gonna play it back tomorrow, have a nice little cup of coffee, and review this very carefully, compare it. Uh, I'm gonna probably compare the. I'm gonna compare the push-ups to see where, where I was before and now, and then I'm gonna maybe do the same with the, the, the squats, and then uh, comment about my workout tomorrow. I'm gonna work out tomorrow somehow, maybe abs, something. But on my birthday, I'm working out. Like, so anyway, I had a freaking awesome freaking challenge workout. So the biceps is a great idea, man. I should have did more biceps, you know? Now I know how to divide it, maybe three exercises, three times, so I can freaking cook the biceps too, so it's perfect. And so anyway, until the next workout, I am done.